In this lesson, I just wanted to take the opportunity to explain a little bit more about how saving Excel files into OneDrive works, because I find that this tends to be a bit of a sticking point for some people. Now, when you're working in OneDrive, you're effectively working in the cloud and cloud storage has been around for a number of years now. One of the advantages to saving your files into the cloud is it makes them easily accessible to other people. So it means we're not having to attach files to emails if we want to share them. We can simply save them to a shared cloud folder and everybody can access the file that way. And the best thing about it is that whoever opens that file and makes changes, all of those changes automatically save back to the cloud. So you're always going to have the most up to date copy. Now, OneDrive is installed onto your PC when you work through the setup process for Microsoft 365. So what you should find is that when you're working in Excel, if you go to File and go down to Save a Copy, you should be able to see your OneDrive sitting just here. So you can see mine is called OneDrive. It has MSFT after it because there are two different types of OneDrive account. You can have a personal OneDrive, which goes with personal Microsoft 365 subscriptions. Or if you have a business subscription, you're going to have the business version of OneDrive. And that's exactly what I have here. Now I'm clicked on it in this list. And then on the right hand side, I can see all of the files and folders that are located within my OneDrive folder. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it course files. Let's click on OK. So now if I wanted to save this workbook, I can simply click on course files and either keep the current name or I can rename it as something else. So I'm going to call this product sales and click on save. So notice now this document's name has changed in the title bar and this is saved into OneDrive. Now if we close down this file, control W, and then go back to file and into open. Again, notice we have quick access to OneDrive just here. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. So to reopen, I would just select my drive, go to the folder and there is my file. I can double click to open. But it's also worth noting that if you're somebody who tends to work predominantly in File Explorer, you tend to do a lot of your file opening from there, your OneDrive folders get synced to File Explorer. So if I open up my File Explorer, you can see at the top here, these are my different OneDrives. The one that I've been working in is Deb MSFT. If I click this, I can see all of the folders and all of the files. If I double click on courses files, there is that product sales workbook. Now I'm going to go back a level because I want to rename this. So let's rename this course files as opposed to courses files. That's a little bit better. Now, what you'll notice is that when you're working with OneDrive files within File Explorer, we have this status column just here. And this will basically tell you what status this file or this folder is in terms of the cloud. So when we're making changes to things, you might see a little circular icon just here. For example, if I just go in and rename again, I'm going to change this to, let's just change it to course files. One, notice what happens when I hit enter that icon changes to a little refresh icon. And that shows it's synchronizing with the cloud version to keep everything up to date, whether we're accessing our files online through the portal or on our PC. When we have a green tick, it means it's fully synchronized with the cloud. Now notice that some of these other folders just have a little cloud icon next to them. And that means that these are actually stored in the cloud only. So I can still see them in File Explorer on my PC. But when I double click to open, it basically needs to download from the cloud first of all. And of course, when we save our files into OneDrive, it means that we can open them through the Microsoft 365 portal as well. So if we go to the app launcher and open up OneDrive, we should find that underneath recent right at the top here, there is our product sales workbook. So it doesn't matter where I open this from, 
it's always going to be the most up-to-date copy. So that's just a little bit more information about how to work with OneDrive and Excel files. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.